Hey guys, Paul here. If your refrigerator starts running all the time, yet your ice cubes and other frozen foods in the freezer compartment are not freezing, your evaporator coils are probably clogged up with ice and you're going to need to defrost your refrigerator. Yep, even with an auto defrost refrige, these refrigerators can get a frost overload in the evaporator coils and you need to defrost. First thing you're going to want to do is put all your food in a cooler because this is going to be a 24 hour process to make sure that this thing is totally defrosted. So get your food in a cooler, then you're going to want to unplug your refrigerator. All right, this has been draining overnight. You can see a fair amount of water in there, probably at least a cup and a half of water additional overnight. It has stopped draining, so ready to plug back in. I'm going to remove that container here. And then the drain pan is down here. That's where the water is going to collect. Um, that's the drain pan where that tube is going to go into after I remove that plastic container. All right, as I was finishing cleaning the gaskets on this refrigerator, all of a sudden the power shut off. At first I figured that it had reached the uh, proper temperature. And the, and the motor was just resting in between um, compression cycles. However, it didn't come back on. I unplugged it, replugged it, and still didn't come back on. And usually in the back of the unit by the compressor is the reset switch, um, the re reset relay for these automatic defrosting refrigerators. However, this company, Woods, is out of business. I could not locate the, um, the relay in the back of the fridge. There was no such switch for that. However, there is the reset switch in the inside here. I just took apart this compartment. Well, that's the only kind of conspicuous thing here. All I did was give that a turn, about a quarter turn to the left, and it clicked. And plugging in the fridge, the fridge fires up. So this is the reset switch. Your reset switch for the compressor may be somewhere else in the refrigerator. Or for this model, it was in here. Very conspicuous click once you give that about a quarter turn. All right, this refridge has been on for about an hour now, and stuff is starting to freeze up. Really cold in there, really dry, feels great. Now the first line of defense in preventing ice buildup, even in an auto defrost fridge, is making sure you keep your doors closed. And I'm putting a link in the description below to how to repair cracked door seal gaskets like right in here check out that video on how to repair those if you have any questions about this process leave your comments below and we'll see you guys real soon